Welcome back, everybody, to Make Share Daily, where you can go get a fresh build each and every day. So today, we're going to spin the wheel and find out what we're going to build today in our five-minute Lego challenge. So we have a Wiimote. So very cool. It's one of my favorites of all time. The Wiimote revolutionized gaming industry as we know it and brought everybody and their sister into playing video games, including my grandparents and everybody else that ever wanted to play video games. The Wiimote brought them in. It was easy to use and it was pretty fantastic. So let's go see how we're going to build that in out of Legos. Let's go. A Wiimote. How are we going to build a Wiimote in five minutes of time? I'm not sure, but we're going to give it a try. And we're going to get started here. Okay, so Wiimote. Definitely the top side, it's got to be as white as possible with some buttons. Now we did the buttons before for the 360 controller. I'm just going to try something a little different. For the D-pad, it's going to look like that. A little bit bigger of a D-pad, but that's okay. Now the Wiimote has a little bit of curve to the bottom. Not a lot, but we're going to use these because they're white. We're also going to use this big button for the power button. And then we'll use two of these eyes for the, for the buttons on the bottom. The A and B buttons. We'll use those. Okay, so now how do we build up the bottom of the Wiimote? Hmm. I mean, I could do that as well. I got enough white pieces. So if I do something like that, we're already starting to beef it up a little bit. Oh no, yeah, okay. Then on the bottom, there we go, pink and pink. I'm gonna put a button there. Button there, button there. It's not too bad, and it's relatively close to the right shape. I'd rather have the winky buttons. They're more white. There we go. Turn it to line it up. I'm looking around and trying to find any other white pieces I can integrate to try to get that more of a white integrated feel or white, more white color, if you will. Um, I'm not seeing, other than this, I mean, I could try to integrate that. There is a couple more buttons than I remember. I mean, the big button right there, and then there's a couple more. So if we go further down with this. Put this here. There. So there's A and B. When you turn it, it goes like that. But there's two buttons on either side here, too. And one blue one in the middle. Like that. Okay. I 
I mean, it is just a brick. I mean, it is just a square brick. So I was thinking with the Wiimote, it would look a little bit better, but I'm not liking that D-pad the way it looks. It doesn't feel like a D-pad. So let's make a modification on those. I wonder if I take that part out and just replace it with that. I mean, they all look like little buttons, but hmm. where's my timer? Five minutes up. So not too bad. Not exactly what I was hoping it would look like. It looks a little, I mean, the pink just throws me off drastically with a Wiimote, but I just don't have all the white pieces. We could have went smaller. Plus on top of that, I feel like this would be better suited if it was only three across. With the four across, it throws it off just a little bit because the button placement is misaligned, right? I mean, if those were all set up that way, I think it would look a little bit better. I'm gonna take this bottom part off. But yeah, I mean, all the buttons are lined up right here and then the whole thing is off-centered. So if if I had it more like this, I think it would look more like a Wiimote, you know, with that one side kind of chopped off. And the eyeballs don't look like buttons too much, but um, so maybe I'll change that. Maybe I'll change it into just brown pieces. Yeah, that kind of looks better than the than the eyeballs. Again, it you know it needs to be shifted a little to the you know just a little bit more like that, and I think it would be better suited to be a a Wemo. But that's not too bad. I kind of like it. I'm not going to call it a fail. I just don't feel like it highly represents. If you saw this, you wouldn't think, oh, that's a Wiimote. Thanks, thanks so much for watching. Here at Make Share Daily, we love to make things, especially with Legos. So these five minute challenges are a lot of fun. And if you wanna play along, go ahead and pick up this classic Lego box with 221 pieces. You can pick them up for about $15 at your local Walmart or Target and then you can play along or just use any other Legos that you have at your house. As long as you build that same topic, find a way to share it with us on all of our social medias. I'll leave it with this. Please go ahead and make something and share something each and every day. You'll be glad that you did it and we would love to see anything that you make. So find a way to post it to us on our Facebook page, our Instagram page or our Twitter account and you will see all the links down below with where you can get in touch with us So thanks everybody for watching and we'll see you tomorrow to make something new See you later. Bye. Bye